Aloha mai kākou o wau o Nani Dudua no o Ahu Hawaii mai au hanau ma ke alapono no Kamehameha Schools. I am Nani Dudua from Oahu, Hawaii, and I work at Kealapono for Kamehameha Schools. I am a graduate of Kamehameha Schools Kapalama campus, and this February 2022 will be my 24th year working for Kamehameha Schools. My ike or knowledge of Hawaiian culture comes from years of practice. I have over 40 years dancing hula as a haumana or student of a hula halau hula school and then uniki, or graduating as a kumuhula, hula teacher, in 2018, under the direction of kumuhula Lena Ala Kalamahaini and her daughter, New Li'ihaini of Naapuale Olikolehua. I still consider myself a learner of Hawaiian culture. I continue to grow my ike or knowledge each day. There is always something new for me to learn. In 2007, a small group was formed at the request of our Kamehameha Schools leaders located at Kawaiya Ha'o Plaza to engage staff members with cultural practices and protocol. Under the alaka'i or lead of Kaipo no Hea Hale, our group was tasked to explore questions like, How do we want to greet visitors when they arrive at Kawaiya Ha'o Plaza? Are there protocols or cultural guidelines that might support other department staff? Through our conversations, one practice was decided to start a morning gathering, much like the ones already done by our Kaya Puni or Hawaiian Immersion Schools, Punana Leo Hawaiian Preschools, and Hawaiian Cultural Based Charter Schools throughout Hawaii. This morning gathering is sometimes termed pico, which means navel the umbilical cord, the connection of life for a baby to the mother, or it is the center of our bodies where life begins. Pico, when used in the concept of a morning gathering, could be the center of where you want to physically conduct this practice. At Kawaiaha'o, finding the pico is difficult. Therefore, we decided to call this practice morning gathering because our pico was literally any place on site where we could gather, through the rain, big crowds, etc. Thus, the practice of morning gathering began 14 years ago at 8.30 a.m. every workday and open to all staff to attend, and sometimes we had curious bystanders. Currently, because of COVID, we meet online via Microsoft Teams and are open to all staff across the state still at the same time, Monday through Friday. We begin with kahea. Kahea, or call, made by the pū, conch shell, or ohe, bamboo. Volunteer staff blow the pū to announce the beginning of our morning gathering. Next is a pule, or prayer, or scripture reading. We have been fortunate as Kamehameha School staff to practice our Christian faith as our founder, Princess Bernice Pawahi Bishop did. An oli, or chant, is done. We do traditional oli, or oli written by Kea staff, or ones that have been done and or shared publicly. In doing so, we connect to our past and honor our kupuna, or elders. A mana o kala, thought of the day, or ha'i olelo, Hawaiian saying or word, is shared. Staff share an olelo no eao, wise thoughts or sayings, words of encouragement, history, especially if we are celebrating an important event like a Hawaiian monarch's birthday, la kuokoa, Hawaiian Independence Day, even uplifting poems, mele or songs, and now with technology, short videos. We end with mele song to celebrate the day much like our kupuna did, accompanied by an instrument. The selection of mele could be Hawaiian songs of old or new compositions and or a selection for a particular person or event. Morning gathering is a time to start the day with intention, to bring your spirit and aloha 
with no prejudice or agenda into this space and to share in pule and culture. It is a sense of well-being for us, physically, mentally, and spiritually. COVID has taught us to check in with one another, to create this pu'uhonua, this safe place, to pule, to pray, laugh, cry, uplift, and to center ourselves for the start of a new day. Through the years, we have shared announcements of births, deaths, retirements, moving, even buying a new puppy. We continue our learning of Oli and Mele by increasing our repertoire so that no matter where we go, we are makaukau, prepared to share. It is through this pilina or connection and aloha that brings us all closer together as Kamehameha Schools Ohana. How do you begin or start a morning gathering practice at a workplace? If you have blessings from your leadership or boss to do this, then by all means do it. However, if not, then start with yourself, with family, ohana, and then invite others to join. This is our way of doing a morning gathering. However, take what is given and adapt to your own circumstances. Use these words as a cultural guide. A ohe pau ka ike ika halau ho'okahi. Not all learning comes from one school. I believe that if your intention is right, with body, mind, and spirit, you'll be able to accomplish anything. Our morning gathering is truly a testament to the vision of our OEV leaders to establish a cultural practice that brings value to the health and well-being of all staff.